Hi, Jason Vaughan, portrait photographer. I'm here at Aura Studios near Northampton again, this time with the beautiful Kelly Hathaway. Uh, PixPro has asked me to have a look at the um, optical snoop for the high-powered LED, but they wanted me to have a look to see if we can use it with flash. So we're here in the studio. I literally have taken a couple of quick test shots and um, yeah, we'll save the answer till later. But what is this one? Okay, so I thought I'd take a little cut into the uh, video just to do a comparison between the two. So this is the EF uh, mount optical snoop that I did the previous video on, if you've seen that. Uh, if not, go and have a look, it might interest you. And this is the high-powered LED snoop, so it's designed to go on to high-powered LED lights with a Bowens mount. Pixpro have sent it to me, as I've said in the video already, to see whether it will work with flash. Um, but I wanted to put the two of them side by side so you could see the differences. So straight off, sitting there on the table, you can see there's a little bit of a size difference. Okay, uh, the next difference for those with, of you with keen eyesight you'll notice is you've got these little adjustable, manually adjustable blades here, which means that even without a gobo in, you can start making your little patterns to control the light and make the light fall off where you want it to fall off. So that's interesting and I may put up some sample shots to show you that later. Um, but yeah, I quite like that idea. Um, this one comes with a lens, so you get this lens in the pack. Uh, if I can get it out of the bag. So it's an 85mm lens. Um, it has an EF style mount, so it will mount on there but you can focus and defocus this lens the same as you would with an EF mount lens, or you can just put an EF mount lens onto it. Um, also with this lens comes a little filter holder, so you can put different colored jowls straight onto the end of the lens. Um, I may have to play and see what that's like, but just fit on the end with whatever jowl you're gonna use. I'm getting quite a collection of stuff now. Okay, so that you can have the coloured gels, you can project the different colours, mix the gels with the gobos. Whereas with the EF mount, um, as I showed on the other video, you, uh, you actually slot the gels into the holder here, the same as you would the gobos, or slot them in with the gobos. So, slight differences, but basically the same tool. Um, now, I did a little testing with it, um, and I can confirm, and I've got to make sure I get this the right way around, uh, the EF mount, um, well they're both an EF mount, but I keep referring to this one as the EF mount. So the one I did the first video on, the EF mount optical snoot, it metered consistently at F10. This one metered consistently at F9 with the 50mm lens one meter away. See, I, I keep getting confused. So, um, very slight bit more power on this one. So this one got F9, this one got F10. Let's just clear that up now. F9, F10. Um, there's not a lot in it to be fair, uh, but both, I did both at the same distance, I measured it with a tape measure to make sure that they were the same distance, and I used both of them with the Canon EF 50mm f1.2 lens, so that there was a consistency, so I didn't try it with that lens compared to this lens, both with the same lens on the front. Now, before we could actually mount this onto a storm light, um, what we had to do, and PixPro very kindly sent me, it came originally with that mount fitted. So as you can see, it's a much closer profile. Uh, so what I did was I changed that, but I still couldn't get it onto the storm light with the modeling bulb in. So I had to take the modeling bulb out, which means that I've lost the modeling light when I'm using it on a storm. So seeing where it's actually falling, it means that I'm having to take shots and adjust, take shots and adjust. Whereas at least with the modeling light when I was with that one, that one, um, you could see a slight pattern so you knew roughly where you, your light was hitting on your subject, be it the background or the model. Um, the reason being, this has a single kind of um, frosted lens in it, and this appears to have two lenses. So there's one in this end here, and then there's another one just behind these adjustable blades here. He says pulling the blades out of the way, so I can see. So just behind the blades here. Um, 
which means basically when I put a tape on there, I get 105 centimeters with this mount, 100, 105 centimeters, 105 millimeters from the element to the edge of the mount here. Um, whereas with this one, I'm getting 120 millimeters from the, the lens to the edge of the mount there. So you've got that extra room in here. So you can just squeeze that on with a modeling ball bin, but that one, unfortunately, wasn't going to go in. Uh, the gobos are slightly different. So with the one designed for a high powered LED, they're circular. Um, for the EF mount that I did the original video on, they're rectangular. <coughs> the good news is if you own that one and you decide to buy this one, you can actually still fit these into the other mount so you could cross over using your gobos from your original um little disappointing for me i can't quite get that into there it's just a little bit too tight i could put it in slightly ski width and only put it under two of the clips so it's like that as you can see it's raised i may try it i might not i don't know um it's not a biggie but it just would have meant that I could have used both across, which would have been interesting and nice. So yeah, both great tools, um, both good fun to play with, um, both very usable. So, not a lot in it really, about a third of a stop I believe, in power. So, two optical snoops. Okay, so we've got it all set up on a Storm 1200. We're pumping quite a bit of light through this. Okay, I'm shooting at, you better check. I'm shooting at ISO 100, one two hundredth of a second, F4.5. We've got the light a little under six foot away from the subject with the 85 mil lens on. And I've focused it so we're getting the sharp detail of the gobo projected onto the subject. So we're just gonna take a few shots now and just see how it comes out. So yeah, just chin down just a little bit, but your eyes, that's it. That's good. You can turn to me just a little, just a little. It's quite good you've done this before, haven't you? Okay, so as you can see there on the images, okay, very much the same as with the other optical snoop. We're getting a lovely pattern projected onto the subject, nice clear lines. We can defocus it if we want, so I'm going to take it out of focus a little bit and just shoot a couple more. So it's a much softer pattern. I thought you'd managed to put a speed plate in your hand. So you've got a much softer pattern there. It's good. So very much the same as the other optical snoop. So we can with that, as I've said before with the other one, and with this one, we can add gel so we can add a bit of color. We can put in extra lights. So does the LED, Optical snoot work with flash? Yeah, pretty sure it does. Thank you.